Butterflies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I actually have a poem for you right here about buckets. Buckets are cool. Buckets are great. Buckets collect water. They also need to. But that's just what a bucket does. A life of a bucket. Thank you for this horrible uh, little poem about me, the bucket. Anyway, let us continue. Skip button to fast forward to text before I read. No, no, no. <laughs> Another day passes. Editing the volume. Okay. <laughs> Another day passes and it's time for a club meeting already. I'm going a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Bucket. One day, I can't really remember the voice I did. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just still not used to being in this club, but that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple thing that's with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Would you me to buy a snack? No th- why? No thanks. Eh? That- that's not like you at all. Sorry. Huh? Why? That. All of a sudden. No reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh-uh. She reveals her coin first. She bumps the last thing itself and she turns upside down. Most constant stuff and suggests only two small coins fall on it. Uh, I knew it. I can see right through your story. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the classroom, probably. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you wanted to conveniently forget that you spent all of your money so that I could lend you some. But there's one more thing, you're always hungry, and so that leaves one option. A what? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you're feeling guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ah ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles, eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in her face. It's in her book as always. Ah, I, I, I w- wasn't listening to anything. It, it just was something in my book. I think I'll just do the weird combination of saying away, but her stuttering for Yuri. Yuri? Tell Bucky to lend me some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Yuri. But besides, you should only buy it what you can responsibly up for. You know, when I was a kid, I used to have a really bad stutter. It comes off, like, really badly sometimes nowadays, but, like, like once every couple of three to two months, just for a little outburst, that's all. And, frankly, after putting a, a mysterious stunt like that, you, you're suffering this fair enough contribution. Uh, did I just... Oh, that's right. I... It, I got two absorbed in the book. Ooh. Uh, I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. Really. Doesn't happen when you speak your mind. But it's a fun side of you. And that's the no way you think that. <coughs> I guess there's a little devil inside his all in there. Eh <laughs> Never feel you. Sarah knows exactly what she was doing after all. She told you guys she was bringing me to the cup before you should have told me. B- but you would have come if you weren't for the cupcakes, for the chicken and and the baking them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sarah, right? <laughs> Slapped her. Whap. Something smacks her in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ooh. Who was? Eh? <gasps> a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sorry, glances around. Is this. Uh, is, it, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my re- retribution? Uh, actually, that one o- o- almost worked. Nah, 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 nah. I 
was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you laugh about the cupcakes, and it was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Uh -huh. It's so cute. That was so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sorry hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sorry it wraps. Rapidly tear oh I rapidly tears open the wrapper. Takes a big bite. So my glasses are a little dirty. So while we're doing this, I'm actually taking my uh, June break, which is what I've decided, because I have September. This will be like the first two weeks of September. The video is up, Doki Doki Literature Club. Maybe I'll play again for Doki Doki Literature Plus, which is released in the 14th, 14th, 15th, 13th, so. 7 days in a week. So maybe I'll play it again. Shoot, again. She was suddenly claps her hands around her mouth. You're gonna go. You're gonna go through a lot over just one cookie. This cookie bites. There's a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, your rose looks really good to continue to. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah? Why didn't you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared one of this one with me. <laughs> Sorry, Death, I don't want to see your friends with you much. I'm sorry, Oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Okay, still in it, it's a few weeks, is that? Uh, no, it's just throw off her. Yum. So I said, leans down to take a bite of Masuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Muffle Siri trots away to safety. You and I laugh as well. Jeez, you guys are kids sometimes. Maka, can you tell Sarah right there? Yeah, you know what? Maka's the latest, which we have had here. I'm watching this. I don't know if my mouth shows. I'll probably give you an answer next time, episode. The Suki glances around. Maka's in the club. Ugh. Where's Maka anyway? Good question. Have you ever heard of anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? Don't say she... She has a... Uh -huh. I would be s s surprised. She's probably the most desirable of all of us combined. Open. Ma hey, sorry. I'm super late. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. <laughs> Mark, Mark had chosen to come over a boyfriend after all. I'm so strong. Boyfriend? What else are you talking about? One of her quizzily glances at me. Ah, never mind that. I really hope anyway. Isn't it piano practice? Ah, uh, well, my last period today was staying over. Fine. <laughs> I can't just lock track of time. <laughs> oh, if any of you have seen this and are worried about the ending for the music, I already have that one up and ready. That makes no sense though. You may have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since there's practice. See, practicing piano. I can't do it. Piano? I wish you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. Just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yeah! That sounds so cool. I was looking forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I will let you down. Okay. Oh, this is really... Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I'd really love the chance to share one once I'm done. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. I choose to leave Sarah and risk escape. I'm sure that Tuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Just with my glasses. <laughs> we'll say around to settle down. Sorry, someone already finished her entire cookie. He already back to the notebook and Suki disappeared into the closet. Suki, yeah! It's all important. Suki comes up to me. Expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. 
told the first time I left the parfait girls out of my bag and his feet taken from him, he quickly turns it over, assuming he could check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle all my I handle my all the time, you know. Yeah, I like my graphic novels and bad I just wanted to make sure. You can blame me for being paranoid. Same here, Natsuki. Same here. I don't give my people make it every day, you know. That's true, I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let's put this one back. I wanna go get the next one, okay? She makes her way to the closet, I follow. Say, look, a notification just came up on the side, you didn't even see it. So, you're gonna tell it, I mean, everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Oh, uh, the chapter ended when Maru and Alice found. Monica. Suzuki's voice. We saw himself from this in the closet. All the six books are lined up on the top shelf. Wait, did you move my bag again? Uh, sorry, it took out mad for me to take some space in the closet, so I had to move the stuff around and clean up a bit. That's all. I just had to reorganize. Ugh. Top shelf is far above, that's what he said. Make safe. Futile hop. Trying to figure out how to reach the bag up. Jeez, did you have like a step ladder or something or a ladder? Why would I? It's a classroom ladder. But fair enough. It's just so inconvenient. I'm moving all these back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, it's really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? And it's okay, there's a stool on the wall there. Oh yeah, stool. That'd be probably looking there. Closet, there's a collapsed stool that's on the wall. If you want to get them for you, I can get them, I can get them myself. Well, you think I'm sh too short or something? I mean, I knew it. Well, you know what? Just watch me. She hops into school, ends up being a little wobbly because of the hop sign. Uh uh. Careful. I know what I'm doing. Staying on school, I think if we could the top shelf, it still would be enough place to grab the books, but there's a big thing to separate them. So, uh. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. There! Having almost fell in the a bit shaken up. Jeez, no, no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can, re I can reach them, so just. I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? So, I'm gonna get a chair, so hang on. Say that smart. So he forces his way past me, got the closet, let's see, I see the shoes attached to this over there. To convenience of the closet. Aha! So he talked to us and sees this with a computer chair behind it. So it's a real to the closet. Ah! It's a little, it's a little, ooh, a little dangerous since there was, ooh, yeah, that's interesting. But I've already learned my lesson so I keep my mouth shut. Shit! So he climbs the chair, so he bounces on the feet. I hope it takes you back against the rest of the world and simply watch. Ah, there we go. See, I can easily do it now. So you have a stack of mana, puts it down, and the stuff below. Wah! Turn so well since we catch us off the seat. What are you doing? Can you at least hold a chair instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who is this doing that? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Hold the chair, so you can back. I can. Oh, <laughs> um, uh, good. I first saw to turn away and it took it. She said he didn't think this through. When she realized that I'll be dead. Hmm. She wrapped her arms around a figure box set. You box set I'm looking at. What is it? box set, anyway. She wraps her arms around the perfect box set, easily left one on the shelf. A heavy a bucket. And take this one, eh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine, just for a second. Hurry up. Alright. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? She looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh? Oh, you didn't know the music stopped again? See, so it looks like she just realized something. Oh, I. 
she looks like she's moved something, but she, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. It's okay, the box. What, what, what are you looking at? I'm trying to look up my mind. It's like she's her legs. I'm, I'm not, I was just... Mitsuki, don't try to move. Let's give me the box. You, you, you perv! You set me up. Go away, get out. But, I'll do it by myself. Ah! There's my spruce my his feet. Nasuki! Ah! So he turns into chaos, but still. I got you. Ow, my face. Looks like he's got a punch in the face with a bat. Also, for some spy against me, throws me to the ground, up with the books, pillow on my face, etc. She goes up with her arms as her face lands straight into my chest. Huh? My arm and my back seriously felt the impact. I remember this time before. Oh! So Lena Tsuki comes to her senses. She passes her arm straight into her pop herself. Eh? Tsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor she's beneath. Goo! The ground is gross! Hack! At first, my, my fist pounces in my chest and Tsuki then pulls herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! I'm make on the top shelf. Are you trying to clear club members or something? Jeez. S -s Sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, well, one more thing. It seems like our most Kuma is a total perv. How dare you? I hope you're happy. I, I did somehow with the boss of Phoenix explain the whole bazaar. Mr. Demonka, I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. What says that Carly to me? Looks like I'm off the hook. Why did it st stop again? Oh no! My, my, eh? I look down, and so he's kneeling on the floor. I look down, just get her over on the floor. The Lord's just gonna case on the face as she can control the floor. Oh, okay. I uh, must have landed on the page. So she tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. So she gives up and sends the book down and throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Stop. No! We voice squeaks as he tears on her face. Ah! Help get the crease out, okay? It's probably my fault, so Nasuki shakes her head still looking down. No! I don't even care that much. I'm just. I'm having a really bad day today. Nasuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I. I really didn't mean to. It's just. It, it's fine. Is there anything you don't want to talk about? Nasuki shakes her head. Just. Every day. It's so hard. I just want to do. Come to the club, man. If you fall down again, I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. I'll help you clean this up, and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Before you go over fingers, we'll set this one inside. It's gonna be true up again, right? You got to start this one with something new. She looks up with her glossy eyes. Why are eyes pink? I can't be a thing. Anyway, her lips quiver. You're. It's really strange to move from Mitsuki, I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <laughs> she blows her head and sniffles in her sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being, but <laughs> being nice is the least thing you can do. The next couple of minutes were silent between us as I began gathering sh scattered books. We should have slipped them into the box in their corrected order. After a little bit, Mitsuki starts helping. It was long before we then I host the box into a shelf and actually wanted to put it. Then I get onto a stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright, that should do it. Hop off the stool. That's okay. I'll run her gaze. Th th thanks. Ah, uh, I do laugh. It's nothing. Tweezled in the volume I sit down science. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you just said. The thing about cheering me up, if you insist. So this is the last time I read the book. Oops, I... <laughs> I'm doing that by accident. 
stay as far as I can remember what I'm missing a fire. The two keepers quickly approves laughing and pointing things out to me. She is surprisingly sharp at making note of a lot of subtle, repeat jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed how everything ties together in this manga. This Nansuke has a good taste after all. Sometimes I get to your soul sound their sharp font to him. I guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Everything even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? Hehe. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah. Do I say and the book into my bag? What about Yuri's book? Obviously, Natsuki. Good, I just really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poem is supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, that's the problem with me trying. What's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you. Looking face to face, like she just realized something. You, you. you. You're trying to impress me? Okay, that's okay. I don't care. Yuri, Yuri, too quiet. Too close off space. Not my type. Yuri. Yes, Yuri, too loud. A little crazy. Not my type either. Monica. I basically just with standard don't just say no to popular girls. So you would be probably my choice on Suki. Anyway, where were we? Okay, uh, Figuously scans her eyes over the poem one more time, then the poem slips out of her hands and floats to the floor. I have to use the bathroom! Red <laughs> face and Tsuki walks, quickly walks out of the room. Uh, hey, Bucket, did you do something else, okay? I don't, th I don't know. What do I look like? I'm gonna assume I look like me. I saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? You know what? I did. I threatened her. I even. No, 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 of course not, I don't have a bomb. I just told her that I did have a bomb, but I don't really. The voice that's caught in my throat. There's no way I can tell Marco that I'm trying to impress on Tsuki. Mm hmm? This is the form of the form that's set up. She was so much smiling, it's not fitting from her face. I see. This is for our Tsuki things. I, I mean, not really. Definitely did, in fact. In fact, didn't she like her poem a lot the other day, too? She did. You know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Bucket? How do we cheat at poetry? But yeah, exactly. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. I didn't understand my question at all. Anyway, what do you think that Suki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It's just, it's just something you to think about. Hey! Suki comes up just to pull out of Monica's hand. You know, if I had no to re enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. <laughs> you shouldn't really stop reading things that aren't... You know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Eh? But Bucket wrote this poem. You were supposed to share with everyone, right? Ooh. The Ephesus apparently forgot that the poem is actually for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Bucket is done sharing his poem with everyone. Don't like anyone who want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm going on to hold on to it. If you insist, that's fine with me, that's okay. What? Why are you looking like that? Like what? Ugh, never mind. That's okay. I'll give you the poem, but it's still not very fair to say alright. I shouldn't have gone to read it yet. So what? Well, I guess Bucket is right, that's okay. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Fine, that's okay, returns my poem. It's not like she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. Oh, it's longer. Hopefully it's good. Amy likes spiders. You know what I hear about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not her friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I hear her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sings the chords, my heart will pound to the rhythm of the words. Which likes spiders. That's why she's not my friend. I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up into 
quick news. I tried not to let her touch me. She looks better, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. She has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably has some spares. But if her friends start to like spares too, that's why I'm not. Not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it's pretty much gross. She and ghost the world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? Oh, that's it. Right. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. It is. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just getting warmed up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't have to explain it. Then perhaps you can explain complicated issues as much simpler as whatever. Hopes people will realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone who would agree that that subject of this poem is just an arrogant jerk. I would agree 100% on uh, Natsuki. Do you know people like that? I don't think so. Of course, it's always about everyone thinks my... This doesn't matter. I can, oh, it could be how everyone thinks a little kid from reading manga. It doesn't matter. It can't be about anything. I want to be easy to think. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure sometimes. They are afraid of... Ah, um, my eyes. Sometimes you're afraid of people find out they'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone? And it makes them happy. I think we need to be respected for other li weird likings. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. You know, I'm glad you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know you talk talking about that yesterday. But I've been well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you. So, so consider yourself lucky, okay? Uh-huh. Well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Yori, I meant to say Yori. Um, are you still mad? Are you still mad at me? Eh? For dis disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you, you prefer writing over mine. That's not really true. Meaning when I disrespected her? I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. I actually know someone like Yori. But way less talkative. That's me. You're right. Might be a being a little into this too much. How could I be so stupid? I've always let things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I come up as awkward and unlikable. But, but, but if I speak without so thinking, as soon as I want to keep inside, I'm come on, make people hate me. So, b b please, don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what mom wants, but it's not. To you. you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki or Senor. Yuri, please. It makes it easier for me if you do this with like concern. Besides, I have to make up things for you. That's all I mean. If you're sorry, I put it down on this. I'm frustrated. I don't hear her plays as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I tell myself all I can do is accept that how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no interest but request. All right then. Sorry. If I'm right, by this episode we'll be halfway done already. This game's around 5 or 6 hours, I'm going for 6, every episode's about around an hour and 30 minutes. To this one, then. Um, I'm not very good at figuring out poems if they're good or bad. That's why I go by my heart. It makes me feel things, then I can. must be a good poem. 
Should I check if it's hard I guess? Okay, I know. I'm finding films is pretty important to a part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know. What kind of writing you like in the first place? Yeah, me neither. Uh... We'll just try giving it some time. Uh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. You're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. I like happy the most. Sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, and it's at home, can you feel a rain cloud as well? Happy. You make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. It is. Maybe I'll get better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Bucket. I should go and write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Right, I better, better be. I'm not gonna look at the bottom, because it better be something amazing. Bottoms. Pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie saw. It's a secret place where I can keep my dreams to little balls of sunshine. sunshine. Rubbing together like a bundle of kittens, I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger to pluck one of the warm tingles. But there's no time to waste. I put it in, it in a ball to keep it safe and I put it on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes the bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like a spine in a dark cave, discovering the cigarettes. I mean, nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I feel like those scoff bottle gaps, it doesn't feel like time. Escape the lapsed, my Empty shelf could use more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open it up. And come in, my friends. They don't come in in such a hurry. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my balls that much? I finally pull them from the shelf after one or the other, holding them for each and every friend, each and every ball. But every time I let like one go, I was able to stop. Time between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. And it shines all over the floor. They're supposed to be my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, they are shy, feeling something, but all I hear is echo, echo, echo inside my head. So, paragraph one, great. Two, fantastic. Three, great. Four, fantastic. Five, okay. Yeah. Yep. Of course I. I didn't tell him yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect to make something from you. Look, I've taught me a whole lot, and I've been really touched with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, it's exactly. Maybe because I'm interested in you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I've taken too hard about it. The point is, I came out of it. Came out good, so we should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. Me and just think my things a little bit better. Mine is like magic. <laughs> Passion about this, huh? I like to keep it up. Yeah, mine's the best. I'm gonna go keep writing until I die. Don't get ahead of yourself. So there's always that habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it more than a week. <laughs> I wonder if this is my next time, it's been seen the passion lines make it so hard for me to be a pessimist. I wonder what Monica's reading trip of the day is. Hi again, Bucket. That was kind of so nice to hear that, wasn't it? I'm glad that you and me were being in so close together. It's one way of putting it. It's gonna be hard to read your poems, so go ahead and read mine. I like the way this one turned out. I'll read your tale. Squeaking, screeching, peering, 
side constant entanglement, like playing a chalkboard on a turbine. Turbulence? I don't know. Like playing a violin on a pizza crust, and then this poem with meaninglessness. Distracted in the last one, huh? Ah, I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sure if you didn't like that, no one ever said that. This is the kind of thing I've already seen before. I kind of like playing with space on paper, choosing where and how I spent my control of the chance to be your phone. Did you ever say that? I was like, mash it, but when my lines can be short, it makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the notes. I see. It's hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Haha, just as I go forward. Oh, it's not my question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the readers. To opinion it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's my my tip for the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a lot. You feel tense to wait. The whole decision. Yes. And that happens. Don't forget to save your game. Anyway, um, that's not terrifying. I hope I scared some of you. I thought a good first jump scare. You never know when you might change your mind. Oh, it's an unexpected man. Wait, is this is even a tip about right? What am I even talking about? Haha, uh -huh. that's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Look. I'm holding the Doki Doki Leisure Club game. Trash now, nope. Okay, everyone. We're all dead in each other's poems, right? There's something I should play to myself. Can I say a It's Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, uh, don't we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Let's end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. I'm going to keep it simple, okay? Here's one thing is much more than a few decorations. Sarah has been working on posters and designs, some pamphlets that gives out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're exactly going to do for the event. Ah, sorry, I thought you already heard about it. We're going to be performing. Performing? B p p uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a, a poetry performance. Each one of us is going to... There's a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're going to let everyone else come up with and recite poems too. Sure is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Sorry who's been coloring the poster, what's well, up for us to see it. Are you kidding me, Monica? You, did, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you think it's not bad for an idea? Well, no. Just, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? This is way more than going to perform in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagine that you were shaking your head with fear. Guys. I understand where they're coming from. But what, Natsuki, you have never shared their poems with anyone just a couple days ago. I thought to ask them to reflect their poems out of a room of full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. Huh. Well, they want responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. With more people who perform, better we'll be able to so everyone will listen it's really all about yeah that's about that's about expressing your feelings being intimidated with yourself finding new horizons having fun that's right and it's those reasons that we're all in the club today don't you want to share it with the others to inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place I know you do I know we all do 
text and stay in front of room for two minutes and stay on the phone. Then I know you can do it. Oh! oh I don't know, hopefully though there is a trailer. So, I think... <sighs> sure. Not only is the Doki Doki Literature Club whole, like, episode series coming out in one day, uh, an episode released after every minute of the first episode. Um, also as well, I think the trailer, the channel trailer should be up, I think, which is very exciting. Ooh, I'll have this all set up to be on. Actually, give me a second to go to my calendar. I will have it all up and running on September 7th, which is today, baby. Yuki and Yuri remain silent. Story looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. And then Story and Maka, they've been trying really hard getting very sad to get through this club up a little bit. Well, maybe by it. Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any argument left. Uh. Okay, fine. To go and get over with. Alright, for you. Alright, thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone, uh, except your friend. <sighs> I, I guess I do my have a choice. Yeah, that's everyone. The best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to, going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move into the, onto the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem. Practice for setting them in front of you, so. Wh no way! What, Monica? This is too sad! Oh, if you can't waste your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course you can. Now let's see, Monica flips through the notebook, flips the form that she has in mind for herself, it stands behind the podium. The tell this poem is. The, f the way they fly. Ahem. <clears throat> More comes reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. <clears throat> More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion by each line she says. Is this something she's done before or something in nature? Guess who I'm here for the eyes of Monica? Sarah looks amazed, Sarah has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Then Maka finishes the recital, whatever. First applaud. Maka takes a breath and smiles. That, 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 that was so good, Maka. Uh, thank you very much. I'm just hoping to set a good example. Oh, that's Maka. Are you ready to go next, Sari? I'll, I'll go next. What? You wait to feel the devil of a scent. It clutches to the pair between your hands and stands up. Keeping your head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called You're an Accuracy This is how you smash You can You can do it, Yuri It's called, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye Whose voice shakes She starts reading the poem Just a moment of respect They refuse to do this Why would she send it? Putting in so much effort As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines Her voice changes It's almost like Yuri gets absorbed into her books Quivering words shifts over to a shape of similar to a fierce and confident one give us this. Well, thank you for watching this show. I'll have to cut this episode short. Confident woman. It'll cut abruptly, but I'll save it for you, don't worry. The form is full of twists and turns and it's circuit that you need for timing. This one's your regular stuff into the throwing. Fiery Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she is finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into her guns around her. She bewildered even herself. I, I... It's up to me to save the situation. First I start applying. Everyone joins me afterwards. We give Yuri the work that she deserves. It's not that... Yuri holds the palm to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really 
good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the camp. Okay, I guess it's my turn then. So he hops onto the chair and truthfully watches the party. This one's called... Sweet. If I were to, to read this on paper, I'd probably wouldn't think of that much. But hearing it come from Jerry's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. This is what Sarah meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into something I thought I could do. I feel it now. To my friends, this would be a lie. I did. Good job, Sarah. Where that sort of gentle delivery would work as well. They might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I'm a practice on that kind of thing. It's embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time for the festival, you know? Okay. Now who's next? That's okay. So, don't make me go before a bucket. It's not like I go. Okay, Laura went stamped a little before I have to do it. It's okay. Fine, it's fine. I may as well go get over it. Don't look at much of a selection of what to read. I just have to go for my word for today. Stand up, step up from the podium. If anyone has their eyes on me, it makes me feel terribly awkward. Or some opponents, it looks like a compliment, but it's hard to put in energy. Despite that, once I finish, I'll see what I'm about Sorry, I'm not really good at it as everyone else. Day done. It's okay. Begrudgingly, death out of her seat. So it's a podium. This poem is called. It's called. Oh, why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting. You're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. It's okay. Takes a breath once she starts presenting the poem. So Andrew disappears a little. While she's still on the news track. Just my friends, it's embarrassing. That's a surprise, Nasuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how I do it, so well, I guess in that case you won't have much to worry about for the festival. Like I said, I want everyone to thank everyone for coming through. It'll be hard to put that you've an idea for now, make sure you pick up practice 